To locate the sphenoid bone in the skull, you want to look for this suture here in the anterior cranial fossa. On this side of the suture is the frontal bone. Once you cross it, this is the sphenoid bone. And then if you look down here in the middle cranial fossa, that suture there, on this side of it is the temporal bone. This is the sphenoid bone. This part of the sphenoid bone is the lesser wing. This is the greater wing. So a lot of times students think that this is the greater wing. They think that greater means higher. Greater means it's bigger. So the lesser wing is the smaller one. The greater is the bigger. Then the central portion of the sphenoid bone, that is the body. In the body, there's this structure. That is the cella tersica. So cella tersica means Turkish saddle. The seat in the cella tersica is the hypophyseal fossa. And it is the hypophyseal fossa because another word for your pituitary gland is your hypophysis. So that pituitary gland, aka hypothesis, is sitting in the hypophyseal fossa. And then if we look a little lateral to the cella tersica, that hole there, that is the optic canal. And it is the optic canal because the optic nerve is running through it. And in my opinion, if you look at the sphenoid bone from this angle, it kind of looks like you're looking at a manta ray from above, and the optic canal is where the eyes of the manta ray would be. Then looking under the lesser wing, this crack That is the crack you see in your eye socket. That is the superior orbital fissure. And then the inferior orbital fissure, that is not part of the sphenoid bone, but it is in between the sphenoid bone and the maxilla. So after you find the superior orbital fissure, if you look right below it, there's that circular hole that is the foramen rotundum. It is the foramen rotundum because rotund is round. And then you can see the foramen rotundum kind of makes a curving line with these other two holes. So to remember these guys, just go R O S. Foramen rotundum, foramen oval, foramen spinosum. So oval, because it's an oval, and then spinosum, think of like a little spike, a little spine going right through it. And then these next two holes, they're not in the sphenoid bone, but I'm going to point them out while we're here, because it just makes sense to learn the holes all in a group. If you travel diagonally backwards from the foramen spinosum, you will find yourself in the carotid canal. Then if you follow this channel up, that puts you in the foramen lacerum. It is the foramen lacerum because a laceration is a cut, so it's like a big gash. Looking at the disarticulated sphenoid, here's the body, the lesser wing, greater wing, then the eyes of the manta ray, that's the optic canal. The anterior portion of the cella tersica is not as defined on the disarticulated sphenoid, uh, but you can still clearly see that little seat in the saddle, which is the hypophyseal fossa. and then look under those lesser wings to find your superior orbital fissure. Then 
R-O-S, foramen rotundum, foramen oval, foramen spinosum. Then if we flip him up like that, these little feet hanging down, those are the pterygoid processes. So when you rotate the skull up like that, those little feet are the pterygoid processes. All right, so that's all I have to say about this phenoid bone. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.